book recommendations do you have some book recommendations that shaped the way you think it could be technical or it could be just general you know yeah um i do uh my my reading uh lists are are very strange so i pick three books that are kind of representative of the whole spectrum okay um one book that i really like uh this is more for the the ai folks it's mm-hmm. called the alignment problem by brian christian okay uh this book i don't know it, it's like a super accessible intro to ai um you know even if you're not a if you're not a researcher in ai maybe there's a lot of like repeated stuff but what i really like about this book is that it balances a lot of things that i like about ai writing in that it has a lot of historical context so they talk about like you know the origins of reinforcement learning for example or like mm. how how the cyfar initiative started so there's a lot of just like history and like how the researchers began thinking about how people think and how that became what we call AI today. Mm-hmm. Additionally to that, it talks a lot about the ethical implications of AI, which is of course important, but it doesn't do it in a way that, you know, there's a lot of books out there that are just like 100% alarmist about, you know, like AI is terrible at everything. Um, you know, we're we're all going to die. Uh, this <laughs> book really strikes a balance. You know, it it speaks of, it speaks about it from a historical view. It mm-hmm. speaks about it with some optimism about what the future of of um, you know machine learning can hold, and it also has a lot of cautions about ways that um, black box systems that use data can be can be wildly misused. So that's a that's a great book. Um, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. It's uh, I'm sure it's a book that a lot of people recommend, but it's a great book about just how we think, mm-hmm. uh, particularly like the our you know conscious versus unconscious. Uh, kind of part of the brain. Mm-hmm. Um, what I like about this book, besides that it's just super interesting, is that it's really fun because there's a lot of experimental results to, yeah. that are that are shared to back up the um, the findings. And there's a lot of like mathematical puzzles for you to work out while you read the book. So like you're you're basically like everyone when I was reading it, I had a piece of paper where I was like you know doing like all the probability stuff. Um, I enjoyed it. I gave the book to my dad, and he did not like. He was like, why yeah. do I do math? I'm reading a book. But, you know, if that's for you. Okay. you know, yeah. yeah. Um, and the third set of books, it's, a, it's uh, you know, it's fiction. It's the Remembrance of Earth's Past trilogy, or also known as the Three Body Problem books by oh. Qixin Liu. Um, yeah, it's a sci-fi book about um, basically aliens. But what I really like about this is going back to the AI world again. I think when, when humans imagine stuff, I think about this a lot. Like when when we imagine things, we are ne- we are always interpolating from things that we have seen in the past. And you can think of like the same thing for a neural network, where you're just always looking at things within distribution of training data. Mm-hmm. This book is like the author has so much imagination that I truly believe he has like out of distribution thinking because the things that he came up with and like the scale of of like time basically that 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 he applies. In, in in the books, like as far as like explaining the universe in like ways that really mess with your head. Um, like this is a special person that wrote the book and I would highly recommend it. Um, what, what's so those, the name of the book again? The, the So the first book in the trilogy is called The Three-Body Problem. Oh, uh, The Three-Body Problem. Yeah. Uh, the trilogy is called Remembrance of Earth's Past. So it's it's three okay. books by the same author. But yeah, the, um, they're super good. Uh, I would I recommend people read them if they... If they want their their brains to melt a little bit, <laughs> would, would recommend. So yeah, I, I mean, for for each of these three books, you know, there's lots of other books similar that I like. So if mm-hmm. anyone wants to know more, um, you can always reach out. But that's a that's a sample of, of what I like. So these are the three three categories. The 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 last one is actually about uh, uh, the the where you're looking for more creative ideas and like more imaginative sort of a uh, domain and then the first one is about uh, so the second one is about uh, the how the mind works and the first one is more about uh, engineering and ai in general yeah and specifically about the role of ai in society which is something okay. that we all have to think a lot more about as we yeah, okay. as we do things um there's there's a lot of great books in in that vein for sure <laughs> mm-hmm. 